this video is going to be about switch statement in C sharp. For that, we're going to create a project console application. Give it a name. And let's start on the switch. Now the switch, just like the if else statement, is a way for you to control which part of the code gets executed. The main difference between the switch and the if else is that the switch statement is a lot faster than the if else statement. So let's start with the switch. So let's say I have an integer and I'm going to switch my integer whenever my integer is equals 10 I want to do something I want to print 10 and I want to break so now let's go over this piece of code. So the switch statement starts here and it ends here. So this is my switch statement block. Between these parentheses is whatever I'm going to switch on. So in this case, I'm going to switch on x, which is an integer. So whenever the x equals 10 then I'm gonna execute this part of the code and nothing else whenever I have the case of 11 for example I'm gonna do I'm gonna print 11 and I need to also break so the break is the end of this block. So the break, this break is the end of this case, this block of code. So I can, if I want, do something else here. No problem. And I can keep on writing more code here. And everything here is going to be executed and to the break. And I can ha also have case 0. On the case 0, I'm just going to print 0. And I break. The last part is the default. Now the default has no value here. And the reason is because the default is everything else. Question mark. Because it's everything else. So, let's review this code. We know that int equals 10. And I'm going to switch on integer. And whenever the integer equals 10, I execute this part of the code. When the integer equals 11, this part will be executed, and so on. And whenever the integer is not 10, nor 11, nor 0, this part of the code gets executed. So let's test this. So I got 10 and something else. So everything here got executed. Now the reason why the switch statement is a lot faster than if else is because whenever it's, like it's testing here, it goes directly to the case that you want. It will not test every single one of them. If you have here, for example, if x equals 0, it will not come here and test it. It will come straight here. So because of that, even if you have a lot of cases, it will not test every single case. It's going to go directly to that code. Because of that, 
it's always better to use switch statement than to use if else. Now there might be a case where you must use the if else statement. You cannot use switch. So in those cases, so be it. Use the if else. But if there is a case where you can you can use the switch, then use the switch. Switch is always faster and always preferred than the if else statement. So let's try only for fun to write hundred here on your um, on your x. So if you write hundred, then you're gonna end up here because hundred is not an option. It's not on any of our cases. Run we get cash question mark and that's all